Okay, so let's try this problem. It's a Henry's Law problem. It says the partial pressure of carbon dioxide gas inside a bottle of soda is 4.0 atm at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the solubility of carbon dioxide if the Henry's Law constant for carbon dioxide in dissolved water is 3.3 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter ATM at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? So if you recall, the solubility, in this case, the solubility of CO2 is going to equal Henry's constant of CO2. And remember, this changes for every gas, okay? So you're going to have to be given that or have a table of different Henry's constants that you look up or something like that. And then multiplied by um, the partial pressure of the gas that you're interested in. In this case, it's CO2. Is everybody okay with that equation? Yes. So now it's just plug and chug because we're looking for the solubility and we have the other two um, uh, variables, right? So 3.3 times 10 to the negative 2. And I'm going to write this out in long fashion. I know we're in Gen Chem 2 and probably don't need to show all of the canceling out of the variables, but some of us may still want it. Okay, so I'm going to show it like that. Is everybody okay with me doing that? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So, times 4.0 ATM. Wonderful. What we're going to do, cancel, cancel like that. So solubility notice is in moles per liter, right? So it's kind of like a concentration. So um, let's multiply this to thank you. Multiply this out. 3.3 times 4. So to Two sig figs, two sig figs, two sig figs, right? So 0 0.13 moles per liter of uh, CO2. That's the solubility of CO2. So can everybody do a Henry's Law problem? Okay. Remember, um, I could have given you the solubility and had you calculate like the Henry's constant or something like that. Okay? You're going to have to understand how to manipulate those um, units to get the proper units for the other ones. Okay.